Hi, how are you? Um, today I'm going to show you something that's called Kramer's Rule, and this is a way to solve a system of two linear equations with two unknowns. The unknowns in our example will be x and y. Um, as a re reminder what linear equations are, well they're, they're straight lines, they're graph of lines. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for where these two lines would cross. And uh, we had, we had we had uh, solved these things before by graphing them. We've also used a, a um, substitution method and a and a elimination method in order to figure out where these lines would cross, if if in fact they do. But um, today I'm going to show you something that's called Kramer's rule, which uses a de the determinants of some matrices I'm going to set up here. So um, if you look at the rule itself. Um, Here's my two equations where I have A, B, C, and D are my coefficients, and I'll refer to them as the coefficient matrix a little bit later. And um, E and F would be my answer values, so I'm going to refer to them as just the answers. So um, if, you, if you look over here, I'll show you how this works. Um, keep in mind that the parallel lines are asked, when they see that, they're asking you to find the determinant. And so the x value will actually be a determinant of something divided by a determinant of something. And those somethings happen to be the denominators a, b, c, d. These values come from the coefficients. And as I said, as, that's, the, that's the coefficient matrix or the determinant of that. And they're the same in both x and y. So this a, b, c, d a, B, C, D appear in both of the denominators. Now, in order to find X, in this first column, we replace those values with the answers over here. Um, and we keep, when we're solving for X, we, this is like the X column, we replace those. We keep these guys the same. And we're solving for Y, we put those answers back there on, in the Y column. So these answers are going to go on, on the back side of that matrix. And so um, <clears throat> that's basically the setup. And let's see how it works right here. Um, over here I have a, a system of two equations um, and I want to know where these two things cross, if in fact they do. Um, so I'm going to set this up using Kramer's rule. Now my coefficients are 2, negative 1, 4, negative 1. So I'm going to use the 2, negative 1, 4, negative 1. Keep in mind to find the determinant of that. I'm going to multiply the diagonal this way, taking 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 2, minus multiplying on the diagonal that way, 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. And if I take negative 2 minus a negative, in that situation I'll use slash slash, I'm going to get a positive 2. Um, now I know this much, that the denominator of x is going to be 2, as well as y. So y is something over 2 as well. So, um, now, the numerator of x, is, if I look here, I'm going to put these answers, negative 2 and positive 4, in that first column, and keep negative 1 and negative 1, these y values the same, and I'm going to multiply it on a diagonal this way, and I'll take negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2, um, minus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and if I take 2 minus a negative 4, slash slash one more time, gives me 6. So x is going to be equal to 6 over 2. Now 6 over 2 is 3. So I know that my solution is going to have an x value of 3. Now to find the y value, well I know y is going to be something over 2 because in Kramer's rule these denominators are the same. And so let's look at the numerator of y. Uh, and keep in mind it replaced the, the back column with negative 2 and 4, and keep the first column 2 and 4. So um, now I have it set up, I need to multiply the diagonal this way, so I would have uh, 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So I would get, neg I have 8 minus negative 8, if I slash slash or add the opposite, I get 16, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So where do these two lines cross? It's going to be at the point 3, 8, and that would be your solution. Um, that's pretty much how you use Kramer's rule on a 2x2, two two, and I hope that uh, you're able to do this and have success. Hey, thanks for stopping in, and uh, good luck.